What we strive for with No Note November is not impotence, but simply Sucks a deeper understanding yes. of the world. Yes. Only on day three of No Note November. Had to throw this on to not lose sight of the mission. That's pretty funny. That's smart, too. <laughs> what is this? I'm immediately familiar with this. <laughs> oh, it's the No Nut November. <laughs> oh, don't do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no no Nut November? What in the world is that supposed to be? <laughs> I've never heard of this. Is this an actual thing? Since when? Who changed it from No Shave November to No Nut November? What happened to No Shave November? That was for charity. No Nut November is for sadness? I don't know. Right. So it's uh, day four of No Nut November. I've Gosh. discovered something pretty cool, guys. <laughs> can you levitate? So four, if you just th channel your powers hard enough, you can actually just start walking on walls. It's pretty cool. Wait, no. No, no, no. Walking on walls, pretty <gasps> cool. Oh my god, shocking. How did he do that? Oh Walking my god! Walls, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I f***ing love this meme. What is no nut November? I don't understand Please what explain no to nut. the females. I'm thinking like nuts, okay? So I'm like totally confused here. Claiming that you gain powers if you don't masturbate. Is he giving out coupons? Bad things is a lot of bad things. Is it like one free card to... Uh, free nut coupons. Uh, oh. Oh. People. People. Oh, and you, you, and you can't go wrong without the floss guy in the back. Well, is this like a new thing just this year or has this been around forever? This is the first time I'm hearing about this. Hello, fellow female gamers. It's No Not November, yes. which means we Tell us. females need to get out of the kitchen and cover up <laughs> to support our troops. Do your part. Amen. Do your part. <laughs> oh man, I'm so worried about this generation. Day four in No Not November. We're not even that far in no, into I November. Seem I seem to have developed telekinetic powers. Uh, people are this too creative, man. I love the powers thing. This is gonna make cleaning my room so much easier. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. I hate this so much. It's so awkward and so cringy. It's obviously a guy thing, right? We are we ingredients. It's about men. Yes, it has something to okay. do with that. So I think it's about guys' nuts. Is it like no sex allowed? <laughs> Jesus. I, I'm I, I'm trying to get to the root of this. After one day. <laughs> After one day. Oh my god. No, no, no. And that's just after day one, ladies and gents. So people are now developing superpowers because they have not nutted. I like that. How long? We should try that. How long is the longest time? Never mind. All these powers are really making me question why I haven't joined the movement. Yes, Stranger Things! No, no, no. Totally could have had a Lubriderm sponsorship. Yes, throw away the lotion. Oh, it comes back! That's great. This is comedy gold. It makes me uncomfortable and, like, embarrassed. I hate it. It's kind of weird that we're talking about the masturbation habits of high school boys. Never thought I'd have to do that online. No Nut November exists today as a way to pay homage to Buddha. I don't know if that's true. 30 days without nut busting, we experience at least a portion of the awakening that Buddha went through. What we strive for with No Nut November is not impotence, but simply Sex a deeper understanding kids. of yes. the world around you. How does not ejaculating give you any more clairvoyance into the world around you? <laughs> it's simple. The path to enlightenment is to eliminate all unnecessary and harmful desires. I'm glad I'm getting the intellectual the approach, because I didn't understand it before. Right. The desire to bust a nut is the driving factor for everything a man does. By eliminating this core, ever-present desire, it is possible well, to see I the world for what it really is. Well, I don't have to worry about this challenge. Yeah, we don't have to worry about this. So what do you have to look forward to if you take up the challenge of No Nut November? Yeah, well, tell me. The first week will certainly be torturous.
You'll likely experience some testicular swelling, fatigue, likely some difficulty falling asleep. I feel like I'm back in science class. Focusing. Just some basic withdrawal symptoms. The second week is where uh -huh. most people fail, no, not November. It's okay, during good to know, good to know. It's during this time that the state of clairvoyance begins to set in. Most achieve the ability to levitate for a few seconds. I doubt and that this is focus. as educational as it purports to be. The final half of Nonet November presents a grand opportunity for you. You can finally experience the universe as it was meant to be experienced. I read about that. and desires are pushed aside and your mind is opened. You can float through time and space any which way you please. You can sure. All there is I thought this was going to be a real the explanation. In this two-week period of pure enlightenment, most are able to extend their consciousness to the point where they can clearly perceive the fourth dimension. Wow. But even in this state, your That's desire terrific. is not Does this completely guy have gone. a degree Remember, in no nut your November? Desire <laughs> your desire to bust a nut can never be destroyed, only suppress and overcome. Oh you may have separated so your mind awkward. and your body from your desire, but your desire still exists, and it's still attached to you in some way. And it will never give up on its goal to be fulfilled. Why did that guy take so much time for that? <laughs> that was... It's all a joke. That was a full monologue. That's the long con, that video. Interesting. Because at first, he was giving some surprisingly convincing um, history. I had no idea what I was missing out on. With this knowledge, I can now become the next Superman. Only on day three of No Note November. Had to throw this on to not lose sight of the mission. That's pretty funny. That's smart, too. It's a cone. <laughs> Go put that on your dog. I'm trying to think about the motions that one would use if one were to nut. And I believe the hand collar would serve as a sufficient blocking device. I could find my way around that. This is what happens when different generations coexist on social media. Why are you posting on Facebook about not having a nut in November? Oh my God, oh my God. If you developed a nut allergy, I need to modify my recipes, call me back. Poor grandma. She's a grandma who loves, she's a grandma who cares, grandma who doesn't get it. Poor grandma. That, yeah, grandma. That's, that's us, obviously, at yeah. the beginning of this. Seven days in a no nut November, this dude's floating, not photoshopped at all. You can levitate. Dude, we gotta try this. And he's levitating, ladies and gentlemen. He's, he's Hare krishna into the air. Well, hallelujah. Dude made it. Dude has achieved uh, Nutvana. My current mood on day five. <laughs> I gotta sneak one. Just Ew. One. Don't I'm use SpongeBob as a reference to this. <laughs> You're ruining my childhood! Anti Haven is on there! Listen, Squidward, I want to apologize for before. Not suitable for work art on Twitter. <laughs> I love this episode. Don't go. <laughs> Why are they gonna make SpongeBob sexual? <laughs> Poor SpongeBob. Poor Squidward. It's another one of those things that uh, social media has created. It's bathroom humor that teen boys love. So I feel like it's it's it makes sense why it's a thing. So that was a challenge that's called No Nut November. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the education. Thank you for yes. So from what you saw, do you think that people are attempting this challenge for real? They're definitely doing it just because it's funny. And it was actually. No, not at all. It's all just like a meme and a joke. I feel like for the most part it's a joke. And I feel like for the most part, it's a way for boys to to feel uh, warranted in talking about their masturbation habits in front of everyone. I firmly believe that virtually no one does No Nut November for real. It's just, it's a joke, it's a meme, it's a gag. Nobody is actually like, all right, day seven. Nobody does it. Because it's hard. <laughs> Oh, I think people are participating. You're a kid, you have nothing to do but go to school and masturbate. So like by by having like one of those be off limits, I think it really adds some stakes to the life of a 12 year old. So some posts claim if you succeed in this challenge it will not only allow more time for hobbies or bettering yourselves, but it will also give you superpowers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Masturbating takes that much time that you can't have hobbies? How many times do people jack off a week? <laughs> oh, like. Is it really that hard? Okay. As someone who's seen a lot of these internet trends kind of come and go, I mean, do you think that this is something that will continue every November? Like people do no shave November? Or is it just like a joke challenge that's gonna die out? Nah, it'll it'll come back for next year for sure. I don't think so. I think it'll just be like a little dead thing after this, this November. I don't see it dying out. 
It's because masturbation is ubiquitous with coming of age. We're going to see it next year. Now, mark my words, someone might say no fat February. That's how crazy it's going to be. I would say it probably has at least one more year to it, and then it'll die because everyone will have done the jokes, everyone will have seen the jokes. What about fapless February? This is it. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. No Nut November, fapless February. Well, typically this is not a topic that everyone feels comfortable talking publicly about. Oh, I didn't even think of it like that. <laughs> Some have said that this trend has provided a way to make these topics lighthearted and easy to talk about. For you as a public figure, do you ever refrain from these kind of topics? And does a trend or challenge that has this lighthearted aspect help you talk about it? I think making something lighthearted definitely makes something easier, easier to talk about, to talk about yeah. um, so that it's not so <laughs> serious. No Nut November is like a gateway drug into the rest of the sexual world. Any discussion of like normal sexual behavior, especially in adolescence, is a positive. So I'm like all about this. It's great that it encourages people to talk about this kind of thing without shame, but at the same time, it shouldn't really be a topic that you should feel the need to talk about in front of people who may or may not want to hear about it. I would not talk about this on my channel. When I was a kid, I hated any type of like dirty jokes or bathroom talk. It would make me so uncomfortable. So it's not like it's me protecting my audience. It's legit just me. It makes me so uncomfortable that like I just wouldn't like talking about it. Finally, we gotta ask, will you take the pledge for the rest of November and participate in No Note November? Who's saying I'm not already? No, I'm not pledging that. Of course. I want some superpowers too. If it can get me superpowers, yes. I don't have nuts. Uh, we don't have nuts. <laughs> I will pledge that I will try. I pledge. Okay, good. We're pledgees. No, why? What's the point of it? Like, <laughs> why should we not pleasure ourselves? <laughs> I'm participating in this stupid trend, but not for the internet. It's for my own pleasure, or lack thereof. <laughs> F no. Does that answer your, your question? Yeah, no, that's a that's a that's a hard pass. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, is it a hard pass? Nah. <laughs> <laughs>watching this episode of YouTubers React. Subscribe to all the creators you saw today. Links in the description below. Let us know in the comments how your November is going. See you December 1st. Hey guys, Ritui here, producer at FBE. Thank you so much to all the YouTubers that came out to shoot with us. Make sure to check them out. All the links to their channels are in the description below. Bye guys.